Hello YouTube, this is a video about interactive whiteboard software and interactive whiteboards. Here I'm using an overhead projector, the smoothboard software and the V remote control. Uh, the window here is uh, 1 meter and 68 to 1 meter and 10 and it's attached to a hallway. So it faces the hallway outside and uh, my overhead projector is outside and flashes the video content from behind. Attached to the window I have an advertisement board, some kind of plastic and here is the V remote, the laptop and the overhead projector. The audio I bring into the classroom via an extension cable and uh, here I'm using the RM Easy Teach interactive whiteboard software. Actually it's Easy Teach Next Generation. You can download the 30-day trial version from their website. So it has a very cool handwriting recognition feature. It very much compares with Smart Notebook from Smartboard. And the software I think is gonna cost about three to four thousand NT dollars. I think it's in the UK uh, something like 35 pounds. So when writing a new sentence you first have to choose the select tool, click inside the page and then select handwriting recognition again and write your second sentence. If you just continue writing a second sentence it will just attach it to Hello YouTube. So here I can now independently move both sentences around, do editing change the font and do some special effects. It has many sh uh, special effects and cool features. Here I'm using it the first time so I'm not... I really don't know where all the functions are. Here you can see I'm writing I. I move it and click in the board inside the page anywhere you like and select the pen and write three more words. Four more words. And these ones are now recognized as one unit. You also can change the font colors and everything. Here is a different setup. I built this whiteboard for a classroom that doesn't have a, a window. And uh, the school did not allow me to use glass, so I had to use Yakeli, uh, which is some kind of pexi glass. Uh, here I'm using a different kind of pen this infrared pen I uh, designed to activate on push a button. So I have to push a button each time I want to activate the infrared light. Uh, it's better to use on this whiteboard here because the Yakeli is or the Pexi glass is too thin and uh, because it's too thin it wobbles a little bit. I have an idea how to stiffen it up, how to get it tighter but I haven't had time yet to do so. Here you can change the font color. So the software I'm using here is OpenSunCore, which is open source software. You can download it from OpenSunCore.org, and uh, it has all or all the features you need for an open whiteboard software except handwriting recognition. But since handwriting recognition is integrated into Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you really don't need it. This one here is the infrared calibration. 
or the screen calibration goes very fast a few seconds and you're ready to go and because the V remote and the overhead projector are flashing from behind the V remote is very precise and uh, here I'm using a different pen this pen now activates on push so once I push against the board it will activate but because the pexiglass wobbles a little bit it sometimes is not really yeah, not really good to use so I have to stiffen up somehow the uh, the pexi glass. I, I have an idea how to do it and I will do it after Chinese New Year. Uh, Open Sun Core also has many other kinds of features like you can search Google image within the software. Uh, you can drag and drop the image straight into the page you can use all kinds of flash games and interactive uh, uh, flash animations or flash games you also can uh, insert HTML code uh, other features are interactive games like uh, memory where you just drag and drop pictures into the memory setup and then kids can play memory or uh, sentence arranging or all kinds of word games. You can uh, import PDF files. You can just uh, capture anything on the screen and then save it either way into your content folder or you can drop it into the same page or into the next page. So actually I had to record this audio on top of the video because there are students talking and teachers talking and uh, I didn't want to have them inside the video. Also sometimes the student stuck his face into the video so I ha had to cut them out. Okay, here I just drop any kind of flash content into the page just for demo. Okay, I think this concludes so far my video and uh, if you have any questions send me an email or drop me a line underneath the video. Thank you and bye bye.